Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself and today I want to talk about the energy of healing. We are all living our lives right now on overdrive. We're in an overstimulated world. We have a lot of access to information. We have our phones that go off and beep. We have this digital era. We have this multitasking mind mindset where it's like go, 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 go. And we've forgotten what the energy of healing actually feels like. It's not a knowing where we use our mind and we're trying to take in information and use logic and processing skills. It's actually a feeling. You know, the way people used to live, they weren't so overstimulated. They weren't so reliant on technology. They were very reliant on feeling, very reliant on intuition, meaning you might project weather patterns by looking at the sky and the way the sun set and the colors. You might project whether you're safe or whether you're not based on the rustling of the leaves or the sound of the wind. You would know intuitively what to eat where to get your food, how to source it. This is more in line with the energy of healing, right? Being in nature, slowing down, feeling centered, being able to use your intuition and rely on your inner sense of knowing and this inner voice that you have that tells you whether you're on the right track, that tells you whether something's right or wrong, that tells you what direction you need to be going, that tells you, that whispers to you very softly and that screams very, very loudly to you. And intuitively, you knew how to rely on this inner wisdom, this inner voice. You knew how to rely on nature itself, on the rising and setting of the sun, on the weather patterns, on the way the sky is, on relationships and the way you interact with other people, reading their facial cues, reading their body language, feeling connection, feeling a sense of safety and connection and belonging with somebody else, or feeling a sense of danger or repulsion or disconnect with someone. You relied on more on your senses, on your intuition, on your knowing, less on your mind to interpret and solve a problem and multitask and scramble. And they're two very different energies, right? One is very soft and one is very frenetic. One is very connected to yourself, others, the environment, and the entire universe around you. And one is very connected to technology, to yourself, to a fast paced energy, to a success driven energy, to a go, 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 achieve, achieve, achieve energy. The problem is most people bring this modern frenetic energy to healing. And that's not healing energy. Healing energy is about resting and digesting. Healing energy is when you're in the parasympathetic. Healing energy is when you're in ease and peace and calm and flow. These are all states of healing energy, happiness, joy, gratitude. And when we bring our doing energy, our figuring out energy, our frantic energy, our success driven energy to trying to figure out how to heal and trying to accomplish healing. And by being very driven and relying on our processing skills to, uh, you know, take in so much information and then multitask our way through healing, try to disseminate all this information and process it. And it's a very different energy. You can feel the difference in the energy. One is very boring and slow and deeply connected to yourself and everything else around you. 
and one is very movement, energetic, fast-paced, driven, detailed-oriented, exciting, energetic, alive. It's almost like an electric energy, right? Electricity versus groundedness versus a very ethereal energy. Something grounding, something you're more in the process of being rather than doing. You're grounded, you're knowing, you're centered, at peace, calm. The action is in the not doing, but the feeling, but allowing the feelings as opposed to using our mind to distract from or overcome or barrel through these feelings. So they're both very, very different types of energy. And the problem is we're so used to living in this modern era, this different energy then is really conducive to heal. It's very hard. We don't want to shut ourselves off and go to a cave and meditate and lie still and connect to ourselves all day. It can be a very boring, dead type of energy when we're used to a very exciting, alive type of energy. But with this exciting, alive type of energy comes overwhelm and overdrive. And this is where you are in sympathetic state. You're in a sympathetic dominate state. You're basically in fight or flight all of the time, responding to all of the stimulus in your world, your relationships, your environment. But when you're in a healing energy, you really are in ease. It's the, it is, you know, when we say dis-ease is your disharmony in the body, you're not at ease, you're dis-eased. This state is like when you feel at ease, you have your health. So it's a very easy, it feels like you're doing less in this state. It feels like you're not learning and growing and applying. So you, you really do need to balance these states because this is the essence of healing energy. But again, if you're just stuck here too long, you're not learning and growing and processing and applying new concepts or skills. It's when we can balance these that we really have the best healing energy. So staying, I would say in this one, even 60% of the time, and then dipping in and out of this modern energy, of this way of solving problems, multitasking, learning, processing, growing, these kinds of more modern skills are definitely important, but it's not even a 50-50 split. The healing energy has to be more geared towards ease, more geared towards your internal knowing, more geared towards your internal trust with yourself, more geared towards using and applying your intuition by facing your feelings and what is happening inside you. So we want this to be the state where we actually live in and then we dip in and out of the state that we're usually constantly in to help push us forward, to help us grow through something, to help us learn something, to help us use that willpower and grit and determination that we need to bring back here. So you really do need to use both states to your advantage when you're healing. It's not one versus the other, but we've really lost the ability to be in this grounded state. We've really lost the energy and the pure essence of what it feels like to be in healing energy. And this type of energy, the sympathetic, even though you know we want to slip in and out of sympathetic and parasympathetic, because you need that yin and yang, you really do need the balancing of the energies of the chi. You absolutely, if picking one, most of your day should be centered here. You should really get to know who and what you are, who and what your feelings are, what your knowings are, what your intuitions are. And then using this state, the sympathetic, to your advantage when you need it, when you're at a stall in your healing, when you need to push yourself forward, when you're falling into victim consciousness, when you're feeling you're not making progress. You know, then we want to dip in here, multitask, try new things, 
learn new things, push ourselves a little harder. So both energies are important, but you're never gonna heal if you're always constantly in this state and in this energy. You need both. You need to be able to balance a healing energy. One that is grounded with the parasympathetic. One that is grounded with a very calming, at ease, peaceful, knowing, emotional and intuitive energy connecting to yourself, to your environment, to your relationships, to your body, to your feelings. This is healing energy. Using this only when we need to push ourselves forward, when we need to learn and grow, when we need to use that achieving, success-driven, multitasking, overwhelming energy to help grow, pursue, and learn and evolve. So we don't wanna cut out technology altogether. We don't wanna cut out this modern world that we live in altogether, but we really need to balance these more. You really need to get off your phone more. You really need to meditate more. You really need to consciously drive a life that lifts up healing energy. Otherwise you will continually stay in the energy of the modern world that we live in that is not conducive to healing, that is not healing energy, that is not balanced, that is very overwhelming, frantic, frenetic, however you wanna call it. It's very fast paced. And this is the energy that you will be sucked into because of the world that we live in. It is very hard to get out of this energy. It spins fast. It catches you. It's like being in a constant whirlwind or a tornado over here. It's like being caught in New York City constantly. 24 hours a day, there's lots to do, there's high energy. We need to go back to the farm, to the homestead, to the cabin out in nature, out in the woods, out by yourself, being present and really plugged in and connected to who you are. This is healing energy. So if this video resonates with you, please give it a like and consider subscribing. These are the types of things that we need to navigate as we are healing. It's not just about what you do and what actions you take and how often you take them and how long you take them and how hard you pursue them. That is not just it. It is how well you can be with yourself, how much you can grow internally, how much you can trust yourself, believe in yourself, love yourself feel at ease. These are important qualities to healing and this is what we really want to discuss in the healing journey on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, remember healing energy is just as important as healing work. Bring the right energy to your healing practice and you will heal faster. You will have an easier time with healing you will really start to resonate with what healing feels like and what things are working for you and what things aren't working for you. You will really begin to rely on and trust yourself. So pay attention to your healing energy and I will see you in the next video.